What did I get for Christmas? <laughs> And welcome to my Christmas haul video. Got told off for calling it a haul a couple of years ago. But yeah, this is what, or most of what I got for Christmas. Um, as I say every year, I'm not showing this to show off. To, because I've, as ever, I've been lucky and received some wonderful gifts. Um, this is purely because it is stuff that I would normally be showing you anyway. So, rather than spread it out. I do it in one big video. You know, this is what I got for Christmas. Um, got a bit of music related stuff, some DVDs and Blu-rays, and then some miscellaneous bits that fit in with the theme of the channel. I'm not showing you clothing that I've received and food and drink I've received or anything like that. This is purely the stuff that is related to this channel. Um, I will start with the music. So my sister, amongst other things, got me a CD soundtrack to Skyfall. So I, I collect the Bond soundtracks on both vinyl and CD. And uh, this is one that I have on vinyl but did not have on CD. So I'm really pleased she picked that up for me. Not one of my favourite soundtracks by a long chalk. But um, nice to have for the collection anyway. My mum got me... Max Street Preachers, Know Your Enemy, free CD set. Uh, I had intended picking this up when it came out. I'd pre-ordered it, but then as time got close, I suddenly realised that I um, didn't quite have the funds for it, so I had to cancel it, along with a couple of other things. And stuck it on my wish list instead, and thankfully Mum got it for me. Um, so this is a reissue of their album from, does it say, uh, oh, I'm done, cat's trying to get in, it's open, what, are you going to settle now? This is a reissue of their album from 2001. Willow's just come in, as you can see. Um, when it was originally released, they intended releasing it, or wanted to release it as two albums released simultaneously, like Guns N' Roses' Use Your Illusion, um, Springsteen, Lucky Town and Human Nature, was it? But, you know, that was the idea behind it, but their record company wouldn't let them so it was sort of truncated down into one album. Now, 30 years later, or 20 years later rather, um, they have released it as intended. And this set also includes demos of the whole album. Um, but it's very familiar style of packaging for Manix reissues. Book in the middle. And the CDs at either end. And then my main present... You right down there? My main present for my mum was a vinyl box set. Uh, you may recall last year she bought me Mark Knopfler, the Studio Albums, Volume 1. Which is just there. Uh, now, during this year they released Volume 2. So I stuck it on my wish list. fallen out. Uh, gratefully received it. So, oh, I, won't, I won't wedge them back in. Um, you may also recall, if you did watch last year's, that on my volume one, the embossed Mark Knopfler had misprinted and it hadn't printed properly. Um, no such problems with this version. Boo. 
Uh, so nine LP set, studio albums 2009 to 2018, four studio albums on double 180 gram vinyl, mastered by Bob Ludwig, uh, Gateway Mastering Students, vinyl cut by Bernie Grundman, contains 23 additional bonus tracks, including two previously unreleased songs, plus exclusive lithographs. So very much similar to volume one. She now wants to go out. So as in volume one, the lithographs are just uh, prints of the album covers and they're all embossed at the bottom as well with Mark Knopfler. So we've got Get Lucky. Privateering. Tracker. Down the road wherever. And then the uh, box set exclusive back in the day, the bonus tracks 2009 to 2018. Then inside are the five albums themselves. So that's the four albums plus the bonus disc. So let's get lucky. Gatefold. Four-sided lyric fold-out booklet type thingy. Then it's going to come out. Double album, just black vinyl, so I won't bother getting the vinyl out. Polyline sleeve, and I won't. No need to show you the second disc. I think it's exactly the same. Check it is, but oh, oh it's actually uh, labels are red on the second disc. <laughs> then we have privateering. So I think it'll be easier, won't it? Oh, I've gone too far there. Yes, I have. Then we have a tracker. don't enjoy Mark Knopfler's solo work as much as I love Dire Straits. Uh, just a double-sided lyric sheet on this one. Um, well, there's no lyrics actually, it's just about the album and um, credits. Oh, that's because there's a separate, I see, there's a separate lyric sheet. Okay, kind of confuse me. The labels. And then down the road wherever. Yeah, um, as I say, don't enjoy it as much as Dire Straits, but I do enjoy them still considerably and now from first look just double checking yeah we've got no inserts with this one I presume that's correct um, if anybody knows any different please let me know and I'll try getting in touch with the record label um, but I'm guessing it's correct 
and then yeah the bonus album with eight bonus tracks on there all the other bonus tracks are sort of spread across the albums lyrics on this one and I'll get this final out So yeah, that was all the music that I received, but there is a lot of music related stuff that will follow the DVDs and Blu-rays, which I will show next. Um, so, nice mixture of film TV here. We have Four Love and Thunder, Lightyear, David Bowie, Moon Age Daydream, Documentary, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and the fifth series of Mortimer and White House Gone Fishing, Morecambe and Wise The Lost Tapes, so that's some recently resurfaced Morecambe and Wise shows that weren't included on the original box set, uh, House of the Dragon, Series 1, Season 1, whatever they call it, I don't call it either actually on here. House of the Dragon, which I have seen uh, and enjoyed. I uh, haven't seen, but big fan of Juno Temple. Little Birds. Uh, a Magnificent Wurzel Gummidge. That's the four specials from uh, 20 and 21, I think they aired over. Uh, Doctor Who, Power of the Doctor. Jodie's last episode, which was half and half magnificent uh, Fantastic Beasts of Secrets of Dumbledore and The League of Super Pets that's the DVDs and Blu-rays uh, obviously apart from the t TV bits that I've seen so Doctor Who and Wurzel Gummidge and House of the Dragon and Mortimer and White House I haven't seen any of the others so I can't comment on them but when I do I will show them in my DVD and Blu-ray updates and give you my thoughts on them. Okay, so then we've got a few books and a couple of other miscellaneous bits. Um, first bit was a gift from my mum's boyfriend. Oh, um, DVDs of a combination of... Uh, Bowie was from my cousin. Uh, Dumbledore, Super Pets, Doctor Who... Wurzel Gummidge and Little Birds were from my dad and stepmom. Uh, House of the Dragon, Mortimer and White House, Lightyear 4 were from my mum's boyfriend, and Mortimer and Wise, Doctor Strange were from my mum. I think that's right. Uh, yes, my mum's boyfriend found this. It's a it's a door stop or door wedge. It's a Prince door wedge door stop. Oh, from a company called Wedgie. It's got a sticker on the back. Let's meet the purple one. He's had more names than doors he's wedged open, but TPO can certainly hit the high notes. Known in showbiz circles as the door stop. The wedgie formerly known as a doorstop and doorstop symbol, it looks like he's finally settled on a name and thankfully the profession of doorstopping. <laughs> yeah, that is very cool. I Highly unlikely to be using it for its intended purpose because A, I don't tend to wedge my door open and B, I wouldn't want to ruin the paintwork on it. But I absolutely love it. Uh, then we have my calendar for this year um so last year i got kira knightley this year it's prince so this is an unofficial calendar but much better than the official calendar released through the prince store uh, the problems with those the official ones is that they just tend to focus on one era so they get a bit repetitive whereas these unofficial ones tend to be a bit more diverse and sure enough We've got Purple Rain era, uh, Rave era, Diamonds and Pearls era, 
One Night Alone era, Under the Cherry Moon Parade era, uh, 3121 Musicology, that sort of time, uh, Welcome to America, Purple Rain, 1999, might be controversy actually that one, uh, Purple Rain, not entirely sure that one, and uh, again, that sort of Welcome to America-ish type era. But yeah, so that's nice. And then three books to show you. Uh, first from my uh, calendar was from Mum. From my sister, the Doctor Who quiz book, which is an unofficial quiz book, sort of themed quizzes throughout it. I'll sort of flick through haven't studied in depth yet. From my niece, Where's Prince? So this is Where's Wally, but you're looking for Prince. Um, and we're sort of themed. So that's Prince at First Avenue and uh, Prince at Paisley Park, Diamonds and Pearls. But then it's also at the back, apart from telling you where they are, sort of gives you a little potted history as well and points out some of the other bits that are in the pictures so that's really nice that was on my wish list as was this which is from my mum's boyfriend um this is what looks like a magnificent book prince all the songs the story behind every track by benoit clerk um so this is a 650 odd page book Yeah, and sort of goes through throughout his career, a sort of an introductory bit at the start, I and mean, then it goes through album by album, telling you so where are we? So some tracks more than others, but little red Corvette there tells you where it was recorded, how it came to be written, any de you know details needed about the production. And any side note, so this talks about Stand Back, the Stevie Nicks song. And then it's got loads of photos as well on every page. Um, you know, some tracks just get a little... Um, I'm trying to find a relevant one I can show you. So yeah, here we took in the B-sides that were on the Hits for B-sides compilation. And you know... Scarlet Pussy gets that much, whereas Erotic City gets that much, because there's obviously more to talk about. Um, but what's also great about this is that it's not just his album tracks. Um, it covers B-sides, 12-inch remixes, um, where they're significantly different. Collaborations feature quite heavily, so here we are. You know, there's tracks he appears on for the time and Sheila E there and throughout lots of information about extra stuff as well not just as I say what's released on his albums and even some unreleased stuff is meant talked about as well so yeah really looking forward to getting into that looks like an excellent book so yes, that is what I got for Christmas this year. As I said at the start, I have been very lucky. I am very grateful. Um, and I'm looking forward to watching, listening and absorbing all that sort of stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.